All right. This is a demonstration of the Wheat 4 Lab for ECET 105 with DeVry University Online. This is uh, from the December 2015 course. What we're looking at here is a set of three ICs that are being used to um, perform a variety of functions. To the far right, we have a 74 LS04 hex inverter. In the center of the breadboard, we have a 74 LS08 quad two input and gate IC. And then to the far left, we have a 74 LS32 quad two input or gate IC. Um, the instructions also called for a set of four SPDT switches that are dip style. Um, we've effectively replaced those temporarily with the use of the TTL switches that are being provided on the Knight Electronics ML2010 that was sent with the online kit. Uh, we're also replacing the 220 ohm resistor that is part of this lab as well as the, um, the LED indicator that would normally be placed on the breadboard with ones that were provided in the kit as well. The LED indicators that we see here are intended to work with TTL level outputs and are already um, ready to work with the voltages and the current that are coming from the, the circuit so that we don't have to include the resistor. So we have, um, we have the output set up here. LED 4 will be the one that lights up to show us the output of the circuit. Um, we can see a little bit of the, the more specific wiring here opportunity to kind of see the the ICs as it focuses in a little bit. Uh, the other thing that we've done here is power is being provided through the circuit through TTL switch number seven. This gives us an on-off functionality that um, we wouldn't have had before with the original circuit design. Uh, previous designs have shown that was a good idea to have that in place. Uh, we're grounded to the normal power supply here. Have an opportunity to see the truth table that we're going to be working hit with here. Input A is going to be working with TTL switch number zero. Input B will be working with TTL switch number one. And input C will be working with TTL switch number two coming off of the, uh, the lab here. So we're going to run through this truth table real quick and see what we come up with. So to demonstrate that we have power coming off of number seven, I have jumped off and created test points here to work with a multimeter. We can see that we're connected. Right now the voltage is zero and we can see that TTL switch number seven is set to low. We're going to flip this to high and we should now have about five volts. All right, showing good with 4.96. We should be ready to perform the tests on the circuit. Right now all of the TTL switches for inputs A, B, and C are set to high. We're going to change those to low and we'll start with row number one. Zero, zero, zero on inputs A, B, and C should result in zero on output Y. We can see the LED indicator number four is turned off, which is what we were expecting to see. Um, we'll perform a one function here with zero, zero, one on inputs A, B, and C respectively, which should lead us to an output of one, meaning LED indicator four should turn on. So we're gonna change input C, which was TTL switch number two, to a high level and we saw indicator 4 there turn on with that. Uh, we're going to run through the rest of this real quick here. See that for row 3 input C turns off and input B turns on with an output of 1. We saw the LED indicator 4 turn on there. We're going to turn input C back on and the LED indicator turned off as the truth table expected. Input A goes to 1 and indicators I'm sorry, TTL switches 1 and 2 go to 0. We should have a 1 at that, and we see that the indicator is on showing us we have a 1. Then we're going to move to input A being on 1. That would be TTL switch 0 as its current state, and TTL switch number 2, which is input C to 1 with an output of 0. We see that has worked correctly. Then input A and B should be set to 1. That's 0 and 1 respectively, with C to off. We have a correct output there, and then we should have all on with no output or a low output. We see that the truth table has worked correctly, which shows that the breadboard should be set up or tested correctly and that all of our gates are working correctly on the ICs.